Christopher, I have something very special for you today. Check these out. Black balls. Black balls. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, you join us today in what could be the most exciting episode of Talking Balls that I've ever been a part of. Chris, have you ever seen a golf ball like this? I haven't, but it's a 99, so it's a lucky number. But Not guys, get in the comments below, have you ever seen a golf ball like this, a black golf ball? We're going to play golf with these today, see what we can score, and we're also going to get them on the launch monitor and see just how they perform. Are they just a bit of fun, or could they be... A serious golf ball. Oh, how good with that? You can replace Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chris, what are your first opinions looking down on the wheelhouse black golf ball? I quite like it, actually. I think it's quite cool. Yeah, it doesn't look as bad as some of them, like the red ball we did. It reminds me of, do you remember Tiger Woods PJ Tour when you could get the black eight ball? Yeah, that's true. Back in the day. Right, Chris, I'll let you get teed off and then we'll talk a little bit more about exactly how these came to be and what they are all about. We can see it in the air. Certainly can. Can we see it down with my eyes? The answer well, is... I couldn't see it down. As soon as it got on the tree line, I struggled. But I saw it nice and dark in the air. I'm even going to use a black shot tracer for this today. Oh, fuck it, you. Right, this could be quite an interesting test, guys. What More starts off... More importantly. <laughs> Pardon? Breakfast of the day. <laughs> what starts off as a bit of fun... Chris, you have bad eyesight, don't you? And you saw that all the way. So could this actually have some merit to it? Terrible eyesight I'd go with. Just round the corner, that was lovely. Felt really soft as well. So the idea behind these balls, guys, is they are designed to be like a hockey puck. So the guys who have designed these are big ice hockey players and they've tried to mismatch golf and hockey. Guys, get in the comments below, would you use the wheelhouse black golf ball? Also, comment. Raisin and biscuit Yorkie or a normal Yorkie? Raisin and biscuit all day, just not at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so guys, what if I told you these are basically a Titleist Pro V1 but black? Well, kind of. So they are a three-piece construction ball, the same as a Pro V1. They also have an outer urethane cover, the same as a Pro V1. The idea behind the black matte colouring is for better visibility for people just like Chris, and they are designed to suit all standard and swing speeds. So again, it should suit me and Chris. Look over there, guys. I can actually see my ball as well, just in the right-hand rough. So that is quite good visibility for a day where it's not quite as sunny as we'd like it. Fairway ball. I'd say for a change, but it's just regulation, really. Uh, the last time you hit a fairway, I think you had hair. <laughs> right, 48 <laughs> degree. Oh, it looks great with the black shaft as well. It does. Is that hanging on? Hopefully. Oh yeah, just, just you see, off the Are you green. see, because I'm struggling to see that. See, into the green there, I totally lost it. I saw it in the air, but then uh, it was a goner. Goner. You see guys, I'm really interested to see if this does perform like a Pro V1 when we get it on the launch monitor in a few moments time. So make sure you do stay tuned for that. We need it to perform into this green because we are downwind out the rough to a short-sided flag. I can't tell you how strange this looks looking down at the ball. I've used yellow balls, red balls, green balls, orange balls, never black. Come on. Release! Oh, that's actually done really well. As soon as it's on the green, you can see it wonderfully. Right, guys, so I've got a little birdie put here, and Chris has got a rather tricky up and down. How good is this black wheelhouse golf ball? around the greens. That's a lovely little shot. Nice. Right. How did that feel? Felt pretty good off the face, nice and soft. Right, I must say guys as well, if we see a close up here on my putter, how good does that look with the white alignment aid next to my ball? Right, birdie putt. Oh, Chris, how good does that look rolling? A very good alignment aid. I'll I give absolutely you that. loved that. Is that a gimme? Just. But a great alignment aid. Very clear to see 
Wonderful. Pure I roll. must admit, if we if we judge it against both putters, I think it suits my putter way more. I think the black on the white for me there looks absolutely awesome. Oh, flag out. Vice fault. So tell you what else we've got today. The chopper. The chopper of doom. Guys, make sure you stay tuned because not only are we going to test these golf balls for numbers, but we are also going to see just what this three-piece golf ball looks like inside. So stay tuned. Oh, that was my ball I was playing with. Right, Chris, two pars, level. Two pars. So this will be a tough test, well, a good test of the ball to see if So can... far, I can't believe how good they feel. Feels great, looks straight down at the club, but I'm just not sure when it comes down against a backdrop of... Deep rough. Deep rough or dark trees I was gonna go with, but... Oh, that's delightful. Can see it clearly. That's one of the best tee shots I think I've seen you hit. But then it's gone. Well, yeah, it's behind the tree, Chris. It's gone. Guys, it's not x-ray ball. It's gone. <laughs> Certainly can. That's... That's, that's glorious, isn't it? Glorious. I see what you mean, though. As soon as it went into the tree line, I did lose it. So, Chris, on Talking Balls, we always talk about how much golf balls cost. Yep. And you'll see here, guys, on screen, how much do you think for a dozen? I'm going to say for a dozen, you're a think of a three-piece, £26. £27.99 for a dozen or 53.18 for two dozen or 75 pounds for three dozen so you can sort of get them down to 25 pound a dozen yeah i think it's a golf ball that i wouldn't go and buy three dozen off the bat because you no. might not like it but then i think for a lot of people it could be quite a good deal yeah i think more so the ball's good i think it's just if you can get used to the black they also do a white one as well a wheelhouse tour 12 pack 32.99 oh, they do a white one well mix it up yeah right chris I, this pains me to say it but well, that's another middle of the fairway. It is. Fantastic ball. Although it's a surprise to come down and see where it is. So it needs to perform well for you here because the flag is right at the front. Can we use that big ridge to get close? If it get does right. catch it. Oh! Well, we'll test it in the sand. Let's see what it's like out of that bunker. See, I thought that it might be an issue for depth perception, but it's actually not too bad. But we'll see what it's like out of the bunker. See if it scuffs up. Oh, yeah. Right, that's a fair way for me this time as well. And we have 128 yards playing 133 yards with a lovely slope at the back of this green. Can we send it into that slope, take advantage and beat Chris once again here on Talking Balls? What do you oh, think, Chris? what he normally does is leave it on the top tier and then put downhill. Oh, that's on the top tier, that's got a flyer. Oh, come down. Oh, that's a shame. It's coming oh, down, it's but coming. it's going right, isn't it? That's a miss green. Practice felt good again, in. though. Yeah, it feels fantastic off the club. I've got to admit, even for that price, I don't think it's bad value. It seems to perform well. Guys, make sure you stay tuned because we're going to hit some drivers in a moment and see just how far they do go. If it performs just like a Pro V1 and it's got the added caveat of it being a, a black golf ball. Caveat? You like that? Okay, yeah. Guys, would you use a black golf ball if it performed as well as a Pro V1? Get in the comments below and let us know. Now let's see if Chris can escape this cavernous bunker. Oh. That's a good... Oof. Rolled out a bit. Needed a bit more loft. Not bad though. Felt good. Well, mine certainly stopped quick. You can see it's landed up here on this ridge. I do need to get a picture of my pair out of my bag. It's finished all the way down here, so it's taken a bit of a slope, but it has reacted on the green. I'll get that pitch mark in just a second after I chip this in to go one up. Would you expect this to check, Chris? You would with the cover and it being three piece, we should get some action. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. No, but I'm gonna blame that on strike, not the ball. Really? That was there. Although there's grass between it, look. Uh, there's a bit of grass, bit of moisture. Two lengthy par putts with this black golf ball, the hockey puck. Yeah. Cracking alignment aid, it's so Although yours is more brown now after being in that bunker. It could do the clean. A bit of a clean. A lot of people miss out on a good alignment aid on the ball. 
Oh, oh. never in doubt. <laughs> Crack and alignment, eh? That's all you need. I must admit, I, I think it feels amazing off the putter. That does feel amazing. Did you get the roll on that? Got the roll. Oh, delight. You know what? I don't almost don't mind how far it goes off the tee, because with putters, it just feels phenomenal. It could even be a little bit of a nice training aid, maybe, to get a good roll on it, Chris. I'll tell you what, that was great camera work. <laughs> Chris, what about if we had a hole-in-one with this? Now, I, imagine this in a cabinet for a hole-in-one, a black one. That'd look cool. I don't think you'd see it going in, though. Well. Now, Chris, one thing we always say on Talking Balls, what would you do if someone stepped up on the first tee and teed off with a black golf ball? Yeah, you would think they're a bit of a plonker, potentially, but saying that, I'd like to look down at the ball and I would potentially use I'd it. I'd like to, and I would use it, but I would definitely think, hmm, let's not have a pint afterwards. <laughs> well, that's all that matters then. We have 166 yards, Christopher. 166. Hole in one chance. And then, guys, we're going to talk numbers for driver with the wheelhouse black golf ball. Right. Slightly into the wind. What have you got? Eight? Eight iron, yeah. You can see it in the air against that white contrasting sky. And as soon as it gets in the trees, I've lost it. <laughs> yeah, I did. And with a wall behind, definitely didn't see it. Right, the door is ajar. Chris, we've done well with hitting fairways, but terribly with hitting greens with these golf balls. That's Two very bags. true. That's another one missed. Oh, That's be good. Fantastic looking shot. It's all over it. Well, you don't know, do you? I've got no idea. But that was a... Uh, Look at that for a strike there. Yep, you hit the ground, the ball went up. <laughs> that could be in. Imagine, three in a year. Hopefully three not. Three in three months. Have you had one yet? No. Nowhere near. There's still time. So guys, you saw earlier we did cut open these wheelhouse golf balls. And what do they show inside? They do show that nice three-piece cover. Show a nice centred core. Chris, I quite like that. Yeah, we can certainly see that it's not off centre, so we're uh, a good finish. Yeah, quite happy with that. Right, guys, let's hit some golf balls on the launch monitor and see just how these perform. So after testing it on the golf course, I hit a load of drivers with the black wheelhouse golf ball, and uh, unfortunately I did lose this one that you'll see here, but I could see it in the sky really well. I think it probably helps. It was quite an overcast, cloudy day and a black contrast ball. Carry was 275 on average, ball speed 161, so quite high. The spin number there, 4671, I'm not sure that's correct. I'm not sure if maybe because it's a black matte ball, the launch monitor wasn't picking it up great, but the rest of the numbers were still pretty spot on for this golf ball. That could be in. I can't see anything. I can't, there's every chat. I mean, it was online and it was about the right number. Mine's in the wall probably, so. Well, still can't see anything. Just hoping it's not long. Still can't see anything. Still can't see anything. Oh, it's long, look. Tell you what, that's gone a long way, though, into the wind. I know. Look, at it was bang on line, weren't it, as well? What's the face? Pitch. If I had a bit eight iron like you, it would have been perfect. Turn. I'll give it to you, Chris. You played a blinder there with the wall in the way. Mm, not bad. I'm going to go 56 again. Chris, uh, I can't remember the last time I used my 60 degree. Music to my ears. Sit. That checked a bit better. Oh! Lap for the fans as well. Admit, I feel so confident over putts with this ball. It matches my putter beautifully well. Cool. In. Guys, make sure you check out part two over on Chris Dennis Golf. Get in the comments below what do you think to the black wheelhouse golf ball. And apart from that, we'll see you the same time tomorrow.